different foods for your dolls. I know you go to the stores and you're like, oh, this is so expensive, I can't buy this. So I decided I'm going to make it myself. So, um, so you're going to need foam. I have dark brown. And you can get it light brown and dark brown. Red. Yellow. And green. The materials you'll need is any different type of scissors, small scissors, big scissors, whatever you're comfortable with, and a glue, because this is the only glue I had, very strong. Food, the foods I'm going to be making is hamburger and fries, then chocolate chip cookies, whatever cookies your dolls are comfortable with, nachos, salsa. And I didn't make the subway yet, so we're going to make it together. So, for the tomatoes, you're going to need two red circles for the tomatoes. And then, how big uh, your bread is, uh, make your cheese that big size, so then it'll fit better. Then your meat lettuce and any other ingredient you want I just finished there so I'm gonna start gluing so first I'm going to be gluing the tomatoes on make sure you don't get your hands stick to the, if you're using strong glue or hot glue gun make sure you don't get your hands too sticky to it because it might never After the tomatoes, I'm going to be using the lettuce. And I'm going to glue that on. Okay. Then I'm going to be either the cheese, I'm going to start with the cheese, then the meat. Press down if you have that many on. Press, always press it down because then it will never like it will start like floating up. So I press it down. The last thing we need is to glue on the meat. The yummy part of the hamburger. Then just stick on your bread. You have your hamburger all ready for your dolls. French fries. So you can take as many french fries as you want. Little, small, big. I did small, big sizes and really gigantic sizes. I did all different kinds of shapes. So now I'm just going to glue it. I'll probably just get some on the sides so I don't have to waste the glue and put some here. And use the excess glue that you have. And glue on more french fries. No french fries are perfectly shaped or sized or how you make it they're all different kind of ways you can make it one on the side or front all different so I just decided to make mine a little bit funky so this is what it looks like when it's done I the reason I glue this all together is you don't want to lose it or you can lose one french fry and you, and you lose your mind so I just decided to glue it all together to dry now Oop, watch out for the glue. It's really sticky. So that's what it looks like when it's done. 
You can also just make it a cheeseburger. I took out the tomatoes on this one. And then this one is the same as this. It has tomatoes. And I made more fries. So I have a lot of dolls. So I made three hamburgers. Three dolls. Now I'm going on to this Subway sandwich. Remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's just something you can do over the summer that's fun and relaxing. So I have two breads here, and one's going to be on the bottom. I'm going to start with the meat this time. I'm just going to glue that on. So those sticky glue won't come out of the bottom. Then the next ingredient I'm going to be putting on it is cheese. I made the lettuce a little bit curvy and bumpy because normally lettuce is not a straight shape so I just made it a little bumpy and wiggly. Then the last thing I'm going to put on is three tomatoes. Final and last, the bread. Press it down when you're done, because then it's still together. So that's my Subway sandwich that I have for my dolls. You can either cut it in half or in three pieces. I just kept mine all at once. But you can decide to cut it if you want. So that's my subway. So I'm gonna next I'm gonna make the cookies with the chocolate chips. And I think about the hamburgers in the subway, you can add detail like the sesame seeds. And it looked like it was baked, and the subway, you can add like lines that look like it was baked. It's not mandatory, but you can probably do it. So for the baked cookies, I am I have four chocolate chips. You can make more. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make eight. And I'm just going to show you how to make the tiny little chocolate chips. I know mine looks bad now, but then once you start, like when the glue dries, it looks better. And then with my two chocolate chip cookies, it can be any shape, it depends. And that's my two chocolate chip cookies. I seriously want to eat this. It's so good. So, the next food I'm going to be making is nachos small, big size nachos. And you know how nachos are different colors? Well, I just decided to make it one solid color, brown. And this is the little cheese that's on top. So I'm just gonna be gluing all of them together in different positions. So some can be like facing like down or sideways or up. It doesn't really matter.
I keep this in, in the middle. I always keep it blank because then in the middle it will be soft to put in the cheese. So I just kept it like blank in the middle. Or if your doll doesn't like cheese then you can just fill it in. Now I'm just gonna add the cheese. Give a detail to it. And that's your nachos. So here are all the foods. So you don't have to buy them and it's expensive. Thank you for watching. These are the things that are fun, cheap, and easy to do. And not perfect. So you can find some of these materials like foam, and most of these stuff at the art store, they probably have one there.